Hey everybody, in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Pro X, the Pro X Touch. It's uh, also keyboard, except that instead of using actual keys, it uses a metal touch. Metal capacitors? Metal plates? I don't know, but anyways, I'll be going through a few things about these and I'll give my final thoughts. Before I say anything, uh, William was nice enough to send me this, so thanks uh, William for sending me one. I've always wanted one, I was going to buy one but you got to me first. I normally review things based on the usability, as in how well the object performs to its intended use. Like I would test tablets if they are good as tablets, but this as a capacitive keyboard it's basically a 10 out of 10 because so far I haven't run into any issues at all. It's flawless. But as an Osu keyboard, that's something... It's something debatable. Well, first off, let's go through the specifics of the Pro X Touch. It uses brass contacts. It used to be copper, but this is a 2.0 version where it uses brass so that it doesn't wear as easily. And it has a micro USB port for you to connect and disconnect to your PC easily. And the bottom uses a rubber a rubber that you can remove the wash. And to be honest, by far this is the best rubber I've ever seen on any product. It really stops any improvement. I swear, this thing can probably stop my grades from slipping. The Prox Touch is the first keypad made and sold like this, but it's not the first touch keyboard Osu has ever seen. The very first case of a touch keyboard Osu had in use was from Gecko Gates, but he had to attach wires to his fingers and was tapping on metal plates. Actually, the first message I've ever sent on the Osu website was to him asking about those, actually. William Custom makes every keypad he sends, and he made me a ring and index version of the keypad because I play with uh, my ring and index fingers. There's a regular index and middle version of the keypad on sale on the website. The Prox Touch metal plates activate instantly the moment you press, so there is technically zero input latency, and there's also absolutely no setup needed. When you press the keys, it basically presses Z and X, but in my case, it sends Z and C because I got the ring and index version. The build feels really solid and professionally made. I couldn't really tell it was homemade to be honest. And as for playing with the Pro X Touch, uh, there's actually a slight learning curve. But to be honest, it only took me a day to get used to it. Well, it's literally tapping on the table. There's absolutely no feedback or force when it comes to tapping on these, which theoretically would mean you have more stamina for streams or longer maps, which I agree because I saw my stamina improve by 10 to 20%, which is a lot for stream maps. And this improvement was immediately when I started using the keypad, in comparison to switching from a membrane keyboard to a mechanical keyboard, where improvements are usually seen after maybe a week to a month. This keypad is really great for anyone who needs to be quiet. It's as loud as tapping your fingers on a table. Alright, so here's a sound test. Okay, so this is the part where I talk about the drawbacks of using this keyboard. I have issues going really fast on this, and when I speak of fast, I mean like streaming around 260 to 280 BPM and single tapping from 280 BPM to 320 BPM. How I stream or single tap fast is pretty similar to how Mania players vibrate on their keyboards for vibro maps or jackhammering. You press down all the way to the bottom of the key and vibrate in that bottom spot of the keyboard. With no keys at all, this is very hard to do on the touchpad. And I'm also mostly afraid of breaking the keypad, but theoretically, it's possible to go insanely fast on this keypad. Your fingers are the limit. But for me, I just find it really hard right now. This could be an additional learning curve though. Also, I slide a break more easily because I can't feel the keys till I press them. This is probably a habit thing and an additional learning curve, but it's problematic enough to point out. Another thing is that my plates started to show signs of wear after using them for only a day, despite the copper to brass improvement. But it could be because it's hot and humid in Singapore 24-7. And the last drawback on the Pro X Touch is the price. I know it's a reasonable price because I've built Osu keyboards before, but it's still very pricey for the average Osu player who is probably a poor 15 year old, but still. All these keypads are handmade, and it's a completely different experience than an actual viable playstyle. So this is really worth considering purchasing if you have to spare cash.
So, should you buy this? Uh, to be honest, if you have the cash, yeah, totally do it. It's, it's a completely different experience, to be honest. Completely worth it. Especially, it, it's especially worth it if you need to be quiet anywhere or at night. As for this, I give this a 9.5 out of 10.